welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for viewing this video um i'm just going to be doing a saint patrick's day set today and you guys can see i was showing you what my nails were looking like and you can see in the photo what they were looking like when i first did them so as you can tell i don't do very good with matte um and i chipped a few i've just messed them up taking clients and everything it's definitely time for a redesign so i'm just taking off all of that old design with my uh stephanie mccarty file and i have it on a speed of seven and i have just i don't even know what bit this is i believe it's a medium um safety bit it's pretty old but it's still working fine so i'm just going to be using that to take off all of the design and then i'm just going to be taking my cuticle pusher and pushing back all of my cuticles Okay, now that my cuticles are pushed back, I'm just taking a medium grit sanding band with my e-file again on a speed of two. And I'm just going to take that on the natural nail only. I'm not really trying to debulk or anything. I typically do my own nails pretty thin anyways, just because I prefer them to be thin and I don't break nails, so I know I can. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking that. Um, and then after the sanding band, I'm going to go in with a uh, ball bit. And I'm just going to go over my cuticles quickly with that. Alright, now I'm just taking some 91% um, alcohol on a lint-free wipe, and I'm using that as a dehydrator because I don't have dehydrator anymore. I've just switched to alcohol because I already have it and it does the same thing for me. Um, if not alcohol, sometimes I use acetone. But I'm taking that as my dehydrator, and then I'm going to take my Young Nails Protein Bond as my primer, and I'm using two coats of that. And my um, cover, my base color right now is the Mia Secret Rose. That's the, um, the nude I'm using underneath. Um, and this Mia Secret powder is pretty liquidy. <laughs> but um, I know that all Mia Secret is usually run runnier than other acrylic brands. But you'll probably see me chasing it all over the place a little bit. Because I'm still getting used to my new brush. I have a... I think it's a number 12 um, not polished brush and it holds more liquid than I'm used to plus the um, Mia Secret is already a very liquidy brand so I'm still trying to get it together on that but I'm just going to do one bead uh, for each of these nails to fill them and then also on a couple I just put a little bead on the edge to give me that square shape back that I was missing. I had kind of ruined it a little bit.
now I'm taking my 100 100 hand file I'm just tapping the nail to make sure it was dry there but I'm taking my 100 100 grit hand file and I'm gonna use that to reshape all of the nails Okay, and this is how they turned out after my regular shaping and filing, but I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I actually wanted to try like the moon cut shape thing that's been, that I've seen. I've actually only seen two people do it, and I put them on the screen for you guys so you can check them out. But if you see how the tips are curved at the edge instead of just regular, like straight, regular square. And I really love that look and I wanted to try it out. Um, I don't know if anybody else has done this, but these are the two people who I've seen it, do it. Um, the Nail Genie on Instagram and then I forgot the other girl's name, but she's on TikTok. Um, and I loved how it came out. It was so cute. But what I did was I just took my fine grit ceramic bit and I'm just pushing it down in the center of the nail in the very center and then I'm just kind of I can't even explain how I did it but the the one girl on TikTok she has a tutorial on how she she does it so if you guys want to try this I would suggest watching her tutorial I that's how I figured out how to do it but it is pretty self-explanatory um I definitely love this it just elevates your nails so much I really hope this is gonna become the next big trend because I love it I hope everybody starts doing this um, I still love square but this just you know does a little a little extra something something to the nails so yeah okay and this is how they turned out you can't really tell in this clip because of the shadows that my um, nails are casting but you'll see in the other clips that they do have a little bit of curve to the end not as much as the two examples that I showed you guys but I love them and that's why I did that heart I'm so excited I'm gonna be doing this shape for now on on myself I don't know if my clients will want it but I'm gonna be doing it on myself Anyway, I'm starting the um, face to the leprechaun guy. I don't know his name, but the Lucky Charms guy. So I'm just going to start off by doing like a half oval shape for his head. And then I'm going to cure that. And then we're going to get into the rim of his hat. Okay, so for the rim of his hat, you can see I have three greens there. I'm just using the, um, the second darkest one. Um, and I'm just going to take that and do like kind of, um, it's just like, it's kind of like just a squiggly line, just the shape that the brim of his hat is. While I was doing this, I was just looking at the cereal box. Um, so that's how I, you know, I usually have to be looking at a reference photo. I was just looking at the cereal box as I was doing this and copying exactly what i saw onto my nails um and it's really easy guys you just need to break it down into shapes and i just am always using my cleanup brush to go back over my lines and straighten them out a bit 
don't let it intimidate you guys just break it down into shapes don't look at the whole overall picture look at one piece at a time what shape is that and how can i get that that there and it'll come together it's a trust a process definitely sometimes it looks a little funky but <laughs> now i'm just taking the second to lightest green and i'm just doing he has like kind of this light green band on his hat so i'm gonna do that first um just so i didn't mess up that shape i just made i didn't want to have to go in and do it after i drew the whole hat so i'm gonna do that that little green band and i'm gonna clean that up also with my alcohol and make the line a little bit straighter At this point, I wasn't trusting the process. I was like, this looks a little weird. So I just had to go over and um, outline the hat and uh, with the black so I could just break it down a little bit. Those greens were just looking too close in color for me. So I was like, I need to make sure that I don't have to get another green. And so I just outlined that real quick and it helped me and just ease my mind. You really just have to trust the process, guys. It doesn't look like anything at first, but by the end, it'll look great. So yeah, I just wanted to align it to make myself feel better. So that's what I'm doing here. So once I outlined it, I could see like the colors did look different. They were separated and more I could tell the difference. So I was like, okay, I continued with the hat. So I'm just doing the top of the hat now. It's kind of um, like a, a square with rounded edges, I guess. So I'm just putting that part on and then we're gonna move on to the next section. Okay, now I'm just gonna be taking that lighter orange that was on my palette. I actually didn't end up using the darker orange at all, but I'm just taking that lighter orange and I'm drawing in his um, his little two little hairs that are sticking out of his hat and his eyebrows.
so here I'm just putting in his eyes just some white ovals and I'm gonna clean up the ovals with my alcohol and my cleanup brush Okay, so I thought I was recording when I started doing the nose in the mouth, but I wasn't, so I do apologize, but the nose is really easy. It was just a C. I turned my nail to the side, and I drew a little C, and then the mouth obviously was just a curved line, and then I connected it with another curved line on the bottom. But see, now I'm just taking the darkest green, and I'm drawing the um, little four-leaf clover that's on his hat. Here I'm just outlining his eyes and it looked a little crazy at first. I had outlined it really heavy and black, um, but I did end up taking most of the black away with um, some alcohol and my cleanup brush. I just went around it until, um, yeah, it wasn't so dark because I was being very heavy handed and he looked crazy, but <laughs> I did end up fixing that up. Um, so that's what I did for the eyes. And then again, I thought I was courting and I wasn't. I just did some blue dots in the center of his eyes and I filled in his mouth with some uh, really dark purple and then I put a little pink in for his tongue. So that's all you guys missed, super easy. I'm sure you guys can do that without seeing me do it. But um, now I'm just taking some white for his teeth and it's just a white line, no individual lines or anything. Um, just a white line on the top and a white line on the bottom for his teeth. And then I also believe, yep, I outlined the rest of his head off camera. Um, but now I'm just going in with that lightest green again. And I'm going to use that for his turtleneck. And um, then I'm going to go in with the second to darkest green. And I'm going to use that for the outside of his jacket. And then he has a blue shirt on. So I used the blue for the bottom part of his shirt. The lightest green for his turtleneck. And then the second darkest green for the outside of his jacket and then I just outlined the whole thing.
I just want to say, guys, I'm so sorry about me putting my head in the camera so many times. I'm sorry. I've got to find a better um, stand to hold my phone while I record so I can get it in a better position. But I'm working on that, guys. So just bear with me while I find something better to get a better angle of these videos for you guys. Here I'm just taking this beautiful gold by uh, Beatles um, and I, I could have done yellow I guess but I really just wanted to do gold because I love this gold and I hadn't used it yet. So I just took this gold by, um, it's from Beatles gel polish and I'm just using that to write out the Lucky Charms logo. So after I finished outlining it with the gold, I just took black, I'm sorry, after I finished writing it with the gold, I just took black to outline it to get a better separation of those colors and so it could actually be legible. <laughs> um, so everybody can read what it says. I, yeah, I just outlined it in the black and then I'm going to go in and do the rainbow that comes off of the Y. How satisfying is that to see my desk go from filthy to kind of clean <laughs> but so here I just have all the colors I was gonna use for the rainbow coming off the Y um, I just use pink instead of red and then you're also gonna see me mix that purple with the blue just to make it a little less harsh I felt like it was just too dark for the rest of the colors so I'm going to uh, do all those coming off the Y. I really didn't do anything special to blend them. I just kind of made it thinner as it got to the Y and it kind of just all blended itself into each other for me. And here's one more thing that I did just to uh, help out my little leprechaun a little bit. I mixed a lot of white with a little bit of pink to get this really light pink color um, to put on his cheeks for a little bit of blush. And then I just took alcohol and I used that to kind of blend it in a little bit. And I felt like that helped him look a little bit more realistic. Um, so then I'm taking um, some black and I'm going to make a little pot of gold and there's going to be a rainbow coming out of that. And I'm using the same exact colors from the rainbow that I did on the Y. So yeah, I'm just going to speed through this for you guys. 
I did want to mention also when I do the stripes for the rainbow I just um, I put the stripe on and then I only put it in the lamp long enough for me to like clean my brush off and get the next color so I'm just really flash curing it I'm not gonna wait a whole 60 seconds just to put another stripe so I just kind of flash cure it while I clean my brush and get the next color freeze it in place so they don't bleed and yeah and then I do my full cure at the end my full 60 seconds after I get all the stripes on. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love the shape. I love the design. I love how it came out. I really hope you guys love it too. If you do, please subscribe or like or just check out a different one of my videos. Anything to support me. Um, and I love doing characters. So if you guys want to see more, suggest some characters for me to do. Thanks guys. Bye.